Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back, or welcome back, well, kind of back to Medal of Honor, but this time we have a new Medal of Honor game. Not new, but different. Uh, new Let's Play. I'm very excited for We have Medal of Honor Rising Sun. This, uh, in terms of release date, is the quote-unquote sequel to Medal of Honor Frontline. Just in terms of, you know, release date. Uh, but, uh, yeah. This one is very cool, because it focuses on my favorite era of history, the Pacific Theater of World War II, and I love that era of history. If, you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you probably know that. Oh boy, we're getting right into it. So the reason we're getting right into it is because I don't actually have a save of this on this memory card yet. So we are... oh, oh no, no saving him. Agreed, let's go. The sensitivity is a little lower than I would like, but uh, we'll try to fix that later. Oh boy. Through the galley. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat in the first level. I love it. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, he's over here. Uh, what's, what's jump? It's triangle. L2? Circle? Oh, it was oh square. Okay, gotcha. That makes a little more sense. So, how do we help this guy? X? Yep, X button. There it is, good. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. That's not good. Give me a fire extinguisher. Here we go. So, yeah, I get to see kind of how the aim is going to work out in this. Oh, wow. Okay. Because uh, Medal of Honor Frontline, if you were there for that Let's Play, that uh, had some trouble with that one. Getting aiming to work right the way I need it to. Just put out these fires. Alright. Get this man out of here. He's still alive. I'll take Film care. canister. Oh, yeah, there's collectibles in this game. I forgot. Uh, I don't know where all of them are, so don't expect me to be able to find all of them throughout this Let's Play. Sorry, guys. Uh, I have no clue where all of them are. I need a fire extinguisher. Here, take it. Give me that thing. Yeah, you, you take it. Can I fix the sensitivity now? Uh, uh, preferences. Uh, ooh, wow. Oh, there's way more options than... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Analog sensitivity. Turn speed is probably the one I want. Confirm. Okay. Good. No, 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 no. No, not that. Unpause. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Much better. All right. That's way more options than Medal of Honor uh, Frontline. All right. Good. Well. Uh, okay. Save game. Oh gosh, new profile name. Uh, I'm boring and unoriginal, so it's LP for Let's Play in this one. Yes, please. <laughs> I use the same excuse every time I start a new Let's Play and I need to give something a name. I just say I'm boring and unoriginal. Let's call it LP. <laughs> is this gonna take as long as Medal of Honor Frontline to save? I hope not. This is an intense moment, man. You're ruining it. You're ruining the crazy intense moment. Let's get out of here. Save complete. Good. Let me leave. I want to leave. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, whoa. Okay, don't click left stick. That recenters my aim. That is not what I want to do. I wanted to sprint. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. He's, uh... Eww. I love this opening mission. This is so awesome. What a way to start a game, huh? VAR to start with. I like it. So, judging by the looks of all this stuff, uh, it appears I can't see the other barrel. I only see one barrel. That's not right. Well, I don't know what ship we're on. Wait. Okay. We might be on... Well, I don't know. There's a lot of similar ships. Could be a New Mexico class. 
Alright, well, anyways, if we get up here, we can get an AA gun. Well, not an AA gun, it's just a machine gun. But we're gonna use it like an AA gun. Like that. Oh, gosh. Uh, I can't quite see them that well. Oh, hello. We got Kate's, I think. I assume, because they're coming in like torpedo planes. These are Val's. Oh, boy. Oh, torpedoes. I know you can shoot them. I know you can. You just gotta do it. Oh, gosh. It's, it's jerking my aim around whenever I get shot. Which is making this very difficult. We got more planes coming in? Oh, yeah. Torpedo bombers. Woo! Intense first mission. I love this game, though. I love all of the old Medal of Honor Call of Duty games. They're so good. There we go. See, you can shoot the torpedoes. I told you. It's just not the easiest thing in the world. There we go. Maybe I should focus on incoming planes. Until the torpedo gets closer, that is. There we go. I'm not sure that would actually work in real life. I'm, I'm Actually, I'm quite sure that wouldn't work, but... No, it's cool for a video game. Ooh, got that one. I feel like that cook from uh, actual Pearl Harbor in real history that, that was just a, a cook, but he got on a machine gun and started shooting down aircraft. As far as we know, he actually got one, too, which is amazing. I don't know what kind of commendations he got, but I know he didn't survive the war. He was on a ship at a later point that got sunk. And he didn't make it out, unfortunately. Oh boy. So we're getting close to the, the end of this, right? This doesn't go on for too long, I don't think. Gunny will give you a BAR. Yeah, he did. But now, the deck located on the upper deck and one on the lower deck. Oh, deck gun. Okay. I wouldn't call this a deck gun. That might be a deck gun. This is a machine gun on the deck. It's not a deck gun, really. Are we supposed to get hit by a certain amount of torpedoes? Maybe. Oh, I guess so. California. Oh, we were on the USS California. I'm not even sure exactly what class of battleship that was. Oh, well, do we do we do it? And plane shot down 23. Nice. Metal and skeleton heat awarded. Okay. Uh, safe profile and continue. I guess we'll we'll move on here. So, like Frontline, I want to try and do two levels per episode if I can. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Pearl Harbor. So that was like the kind of the introduction prologue -y sort of thing. And now we get into the real fight. Ooh, torpedo. Eesh. Maybe get out of the water? Or service, at least? Swim up, you. Swim! Yes, there you go. There's your friend in the PT boat. I have no idea what kind of PT boat had a an enclosed uh, pair of 30 cal machine guns, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I know PT boats had um, double uh, double 30 cals, but as far as I know, I've never seen one with a turret. Uh, I mean, an enclosed like turret. It's it's like the same kind of turret almost. Or it seems like the same type of turret you'd see on a, a B-17 belly gun or something. But I've never seen a PT boat in real life with anything like that. And of course, they're gonna make it super cinematic. Oh gosh, oh, there goes my turret housing. I'm trying, they're not going down. They can take an extraordinary amount of punishment, evidently. There we go. Okay, let's let me find something else real quick. Um, subtitles. 
Uh, whoops. Uh, subtitles. There we go. That's better. Oh boy, those subtitles are quite obstructive. Oh well. We're used to it. Ooh. Too many battleships exploding. This looks really good for 2003. And it's extremely cinematic, too. I see some gunfire coming through. That overturned ship there must be the Oklahoma. It's the only one that was overturned. Unless, I mean, they could just be... You know, this, this isn't necessarily the most historic of accounts, as you can already tell, but, you know. It's fine. It's fun to play and it looks cool, so you know what? I'll give it a pass. They didn't claim it to be super historically accurate, so... There we go. This is already much easier to aim than Medal of Honor Frontline. Oh boy. Oh, I can't turn anymore. Must be the Arizona. Oh, I got the turret back. Oh my God, we've lost the Arizona. God help him. This can't be happening. Ooh, ooh. This is uh, this is definitely more gritty than uh, Medal of Honor Frontline, as you can already tell. Let's go! Let's get that ship out of here! Escort the USS Nevada. You're, I don't know... I don't know what class of ship the Nevada is. That's definitely not it. That's an auxiliary ship. Ooh, fire. Eh. Turn away from that. Maybe the Nevada is a... auxiliary ship. Oh, that's the Nevada. Whoa! Whoa! That must be it. Dude, a couple of good hits on the Nevada, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't see, and I'm dying too. Go down, you. Wow, there are a lot of planes. Oh gosh, and they all have tail guns there shooting me. This is already so much easier to aim than Metal Bunner Frontline. Huh. <sighs> Go 65 enemy plane shot down. December 7th, 1941, 10 in the morning. 
the United States suffers one of history's most devastating surprise attacks. With 2,403 dead and her once invincible Navy decimated, America is forced to join the conflict already raging in Europe and Asia. Prior to Pearl Harbor, the Japanese war machine had swept across China, cutting off American aid, and then pressed on into Burma with limited resistance. At home, Japan was building up a seemingly superior naval fleet, led by some of the world's largest aircraft carriers. But Admiral Yamamoto's prediction had come true. The aftermath of the Day of Infamy had indeed awakened the sleeping giant that was America. As the Emperor's armies march toward the Philippines, the United States takes action. And there is the opening two levels of Medal of Honor Rising Sun. I'm so excited to be playing this. Um, and this it's, it's my favorite era of uh, history as well. Just the, the way that, I mean, just the incredible speed with which the America bounced back from Pearl Harbor and was able to make decisively victorious battles. I mean, what, just six months later, in June of 42, we won Midway, which was already the turning point of the Pacific. Just six months after Pearl Harbor, it's amazing. The the, the history of the Pacific theater of the war, of, of World War II, is just so amazing. But anyways, guys, that will do it for this episode of uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are excited for the new series, and I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.